Hello, and welcome to the series on Old Albanian. My name is Brian Joseph. I am a professor of linguistics at The Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio, in the USA. My name is Michiel Devan. I teach historical linguistics at the University of Lausanne and at other Swiss universities, and Albanian is among my favorite languages. Mine too. Together we will lead you through the fascinating world of Albanian linguistics with a focus on Old Albanian. The Albanian dialects fall into two groups, the Geg dialects in the north and the Tosk ones in the south. The main feature defining the binary split between Geg and Tosk is a historical change, the passage of the consonant N to R between two vowels in the Tosk dialects. That is to say, the N originally stood between two vowels when this change happened. The clearest grammatical isogloss between Geg and Tosk is their different formation of the future. In Geg, the future is formed with the auxiliary verb come, to have, plus the infinitive. In Tosk, on the other hand, the future is made by means of invariant do, originally the third singular of to want, plus the subjunctive, as in do te shkoi, for I will go. Definiteness is built into the endings in the paradigm and thus represents an inflectional category. We had, for instance, vise for a girl, nominative, and vizun for, as for a girl in the accusative. The particles of concord are from old demonstrative elements, so the demonstratives were doing a lot of work, so to speak, in the noun phrase. They function rather like the ezafa constructions seen in modern Iranian, that is, they link nouns to their modifiers, and those modifiers can be either adjectives or possessives, whether possessive pronouns or the genitive of nouns. So by way of conclusion, as in so many cases that we have seen, understanding Albanian historical developments require attention to Albanian as an Indo-European language, as a Balkan language, and Albanian as simply a hu natural human language. I thank you for your attention by saying, Falaminderit pervamendian tuai.